Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back, Brandon again. Day two's in the books, and it was a fairly easy day. Four sets of six on three count pause bench. Went really well, worked up to 100 kg, listed at RPE six as the program called for. Really tried to keep myself pretty honest on the actual pausing itself. It's something that I've kind of gotten away from in the past and has always come back to bite me in the butt come competition times, as I don't think I've ever really been to a competition where I felt they were giving fast pause commands. So really trying to keep myself honest here, yet at the same time, trying to remain countful and mindful of how many reps I'm doing and how long I'm pausing, which can get pretty confusing at times. So four sets of six on bench from there, moved on to three sets of 12 to 15 on overhead tricep extensions. Really enjoyed my spud ink pulley, which is funny because when I initially reviewed it, I mentioned how I didn't really find much value in it and I was kind of disappointed. But since that video, I've actually been using it quite often for a lot of my accessory movements. It's a great way to get tricep work here in the basement done. So that was the day. It was fairly easy, like I said, but it's meant to be. Again, I'm on the transition portion of the program. But on top of that, Garrett said that Chad likes to program in an easy second day. And one of the things that he's been doing with his own training is actually moving and shifting some of the stuff from day one into day two. Because as you saw from the last video, day one has a good amount of work in it, especially once you get into the full program when you start talking about doing sets of 10 at higher RPEs, which can be quite tiring. Then for Garrett, in some cases, it made sense to switch stuff into day two. For me, again, it's not at that point yet, but it's a nice to have that option to know I'm not gonna be overloading myself on any one particular day if need be. Now, based off of the last video, some people had some questions on what's the main difference between this program and the other AI coaching that they've seen or maybe they've run or even they watched me run for a couple of months uh, last year. The main difference is the mind behind it. So. The easiest way for me to explain the AI coaching is it's like a system. So if you ever remember those choose your own adventure books where you given certain scenarios are present and depending on what you pick, it's going to give you a different outcome. That's kind of like how this coaching template works. So the, the main goal behind it is kind of a hybrid for those who don't or can't afford a full on coach, but don't just want a basic static type template. This kind of gives you the best of both as the coach's decisions are programmed in. So depending on your fatigue levels that you can set daily, which again, I'll show you in another video, Video. Uh, and again, depending on how you perform and what RPEs you list and also how you fill out your uh, actual questionnaire and when you're planning on testing out, you're given a whole bunch of different scenarios and the longer you use it, the more accurate the coaching suggestions within the program become. So it basically takes the brain of Garrett the first time, or in this instance with Chad, hashtag Chadbot, and it takes those coaching decisions and just their coaching philosophies and puts them into a template that's then manipulated or changes based off of how you perform and how you're feeling while on the program. So that's the basic behind it. It's the same overall thought process in terms of what the program is and how it works, but what's different is the mindset that goes into it. So the original AI programming was Garrett's programming. This one now has adapted to Chad's mindset. And I believe Garrett's working with some other people and other styles of training to adapt to that as well. So it's a nice in between because again, it offers you kind of some of the benefits of coaching where you don't have to actually pay all the money for that and you don't have to have Skype calls, which I found not necessary in a lot of times, but it's not again, just a static template. So it's not something that you just see and you basically know exactly what you're doing for 12 weeks. It works in four week blocks, but I'm not trying to sell you guys on it. That's not the intent. I'm just trying to track my own progress. Um, so that's what I'll be doing. So that's day two and we'll see you tomorrow probably for day three. In the meantime, as always, thanks for watching and stay big.